What's going on YouTube? Gsno right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade from iOS 13 beta to a stable iOS 12.3 or 12.3.1 or even 12.4 version if you happen to have issues with iOS 13. And for that, we're going to use a software called Dr. Phone Repair. We're going to use the module in here called Repair of a huge tool which contains recovering tools, transfer tools, switching, backup, unlock and restore for iOS. Now, if you want the tool, the tool is available in here. There is a web page for iOS 13 downgrade, which contains all the tools necessary for both Windows and Mac OS, and also contains the uh, guide on how to do it, how to make a backup with either Dr. Phone or with iTunes, and then the whole procedure in order to be able to downgrade safely back to iOS 12 from iOS 13 beta. Now, the tool itself has this web page in here. It's called Repair or the Dr. Phone Repair Module which was formerly known as iOS System Recovery. Once you download it for either macOS or Windows, all you have to do is to go ahead and install it. On macOS, you just open the DMG file, drag and drop the application into the applications folder, and then of course you have to open it and it looks like this. Now, this is a huge tool. I have talked about this in my previous videos, you know, other modules of it, but we're going to use the repair module today in order to be able to downgrade. So in order to be able to downgrade from iOS 13, you need your device plugged into your computer with your data cable. And then we're going to basically press start in here on the repair module. And it's going to give us a prompt about the uh, loose connectors and bad extension cables and stuff like that. So make sure you do not have any of these in here. Make sure you plug your device with a proper cable and do not use an extension cable. We're going to press OK in here and we're going to press start. It's going to walk us through going into DFU mode. So in order to do that, we're going to have to follow the um, information in here. In my case, the device, it's an iPhone 7 Plus. So it's going to give us the information about this particular device, but you can choose the device that you have. And of course, it gives you the information for your particular model. And as you can see, it already detected my device in here. And I can select the iPhone model, which is basically iPhone 7 Plus detected automatically. And I have the iOS 12.3.1, which is the stable version I can downgrade to. So all I have to do is to press download in here. And it's going to start the downgrade process and I will be able to downgrade from iOS 13 beta, which I'm going to be honest with you, does have some bugs for me and create some issues, back to a stable iOS 12.3.x version while I wait for the iOS 13 to be released in September. So I'm going to let it do its job in here. It may take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. And if you have a slow internet, it may take a while. But you're going to see the progress indicator in here. Make sure that you do not unplug your device during the whole procedure. Let it do its job and your phone screen may stay black for a while. You may not see anything on the screen until it starts the uh, actual installation procedure. While it's downloading the IPSW, it will stay on a black screen. Do not worry, it's perfectly normal. I'm going to be right back once the file has been downloaded since I have a rather slow internet connection. All right, so the firmware has been downloaded and we can now press in here the fix now button and it's going to go to 12. 12.3.1. It says the firmware match successfully. Fix now. And it says in here repair iOS to normal. Now the repair procedure will start and the iPhone might restart to a different screen, probably the Apple logo and then a progress bar. So if your phone restarts multiple times, it's something normal and the procedure may take about 10 minutes or so, depending on your device and the dimension of the firmware, but usually it will take like 10 minutes and it will restart several times. So just give it time until you see in here that the procedure is complete. So as you can see here, the repair has been completed and now I'm able to run 12.3.1. The device is now going to boot into 12.3.1. I can press down in here and uh, the device is showing the Apple logo with a progress bar, which is basically increasing. And that's normal after a restore. Some settings have to be created, some key bags and stuff like that. So it's normal to see that. Once that is finished, I'm going to see the setup screen and I'm going to do the setup and then I will be able to show you that I'm running the iOS 12.3.1 instead of the iOS 13 beta. And that's basically how you downgrade. All right, so as you can see, the device has been connected and it says here on iTunes that the iPhone is a 7 Plus running 12.3.1 and there is an update available for 12.4. So as you can see, the restore has been a success. So that's basically how you downgrade from iOS 13 beta to iOS 12.3.1 or 12.4 on a stable version if you have bugs or issues with your iOS device. That should fix most of the bugs and that will allow you to basically go ahead and have a fresh install of iOS, even on a lower version of macOS, for example, High Sierra or Sierra or even El Capitan 
Khan. So you don't need to have Catalina in order to be able to do that. The entire guide on how to do it, the written guide, is available on Wondershare's website in here. They describe how to do it with their software, with Dr. Phone Repair in here. And it's also available for both Windows and Mac OS. And do not forget that there is a giveaway by Wondershare where they are giving away 10 licenses for this program. So check out the description down below for more information. This is pretty much it. Till the next time, I'm Geo Snow. Peace out.